Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Valkyrie Profile. All right, last episode, um, I went through the Caves of Oblivion and uh, got some items. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we picked up. Uh, we got the Broken Blade. Uh, we got uh, Ruin's Fate, which is pretty nice. 5% uh, chance of breaking, but it has attack power of 400, uh, attack trust 27, hit trust 60, and it deals 50% extra damage to darkness enemies, or it is... does 50% extra damage, I don't know. Not sure exactly, but whatever. Um, attack, tr uh, attack power of 400 is pretty awesome. Um... See, I also picked up uh, ebony powder, iron ore, mithril ore, all of which can be uh, transmuted and stuff like that. Uh, I used our skill books, which uh, you just use once and then you have uh, um, skill, so that's pretty cool. And I also picked up... No, you don't have it. Uh, the Ring of Learning. A uh, ring which increases the amount of experience gained by 30%. This will be invaluable uh, when we get uh, new characters and everything like that. So, uh, using that with uh, uh, leveling, um, and basically just uh, equip that on the person that you're trying to get leveled up, and also equip the, um, what is it? Where is it? Emerald? Emerald necklace, yeah. Uh, because that will increase CP by 100 when uh, Lair's level goes up. And just swap that over to someone else when, um, you know, it's, uh, like, so for example, um, put the Emerald Necklace on, Val on Leneth, Arngrim, or Jolanda, then they'll go up and then swap it back over to uh, Belenus or something like that. Uh, make sure that you equip it on someone if you use the uh, XP orbs, things like that. Uh, I did get some skills. Um, I kind of goofed a little bit with uh, Lemeth's skills in that uh, I gave her things like uh, Find Trap, which doesn't actually do anything in the game. It's just for sending them up to, um, uh, you know, up to uh, Valhalla. So um, that was a little bit of a goof, but I only gave a... Uh, a few, so she only wasted, you know, it only wasted a few points, it's fine. Um, yeah, otherwise uh, we did some uh, level grinding and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and hit the wrong button, you know, because that's, that's going to be, that's going to be me this uh, entire Let's Play, I'm sure. Luckily, once you've uh, gotten everything for a chapter, this doesn't take any more time. All right, what I wanted to do is rest. That'll heal everyone up. The goddess Freya has summoned you. This chapter is concluded. Begin a sacred phase. Now, in the uh, original Japanese version, uh, Frey and Freya's names were swapped, so this would actually be Frey was summoning you, but it was the same character. Yeah, they changed it for the U.S. version to be more, you know, appropriate with the uh, genders. Sacred Phase, chapters 1 to 2. It has been a long time, Leneth. It hasn't really. Just a few episodes. Our current situation is as follows. Okay. Asgard War Status, Asgard Strength, uh, Aesir Army 24, uh, Vanir Army 31, Other Forces 25. I'm not entirely sure what the Other Forces stands for. So, minus one for the Aesir army, plus one for the other forces. Our current situation is, if things do not improve, I am afraid we are doomed. Ah, don't be so down. Leneth, about your performance. It's awesome, right? You must try harder. Poop. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. Okay. It's giving us Leneth, more money. I have a request to make of you. Okay. And so this is uh, this is basically how the sacred phases will go. You'll you'll get you know you'll find out what the status of the war is. Uh, then you will um, you know get some new money that you can spend for making you know buying new items essentially. It's 
really what you're doing. Um, and then uh, she will request a certain type of character for uh, the chapter. We need more warriors. So we need a necessary hero value of 50. Um, they want a warrior, uh, so one of the fighting type characters, um, with tactics, leadership, and identify. Send us a warrior with good battle skills. We need a warrior skilled in battle tactics. But you also want to make sure that they have good equipment and stuff like that, because that'll also play a part. Send us someone with a good knowledge of artifacts. Very well. Good fortune. Okay. I expect mighty deeds. And I think those are fixed with each chapter. All right, chapter two, period zero of 28, 196 periods remaining until end of world. All right, so we could again go immediately and do some more grinding, but uh, we're not going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and find out uh, who we are dealing with this time. Uh, unfortunately, the story sequences are, are at this point are generally not going to be long enough to make a full episode, um, and we can't always get the good... Uh, Dungeons, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be handling that going forward. I mean, ideally, I'd like to get, like, one character per episode, uh, but that might not be really all that possible. So let's see, what do we have? Arngrim did what? This is some sort of mistake. Hey, let's all go together. There's no reason to go it alone. If we all go, then... Dying for justice and lofty ideas is pointless. You're talking about Arngrim again, eh? About him being special? <sighs> I will not run away. Artolia. So, let's go. Hit the wrong button again, because, you know... Gotta do that every time, right? Bypass the village, and there we go. Artolia is a small, weak country in the center of the continent. Trapped between their larger neighbors, Artolia's people live in constant fear. It has become a major center for mercenaries. Arngrim. Arngrim did what? This is some sort of mistake. Please check again. He killed Pr Princess Jolanda, Lord Lombert, and 30 soldiers of the guard. The situation is clear. Father. Please understand. Please let's just stop, Arngrim. I'm not a genius like you. Genius? That's what losers say. Ho oh. ho! He's different. He's special. Pick up your spear. All you can do is your best. So the famous genius of the battlefield has gone nuts! Yeah, it looks like he's gone berserk or something. Why were they talking in the present tense? If this world is hell, then the gods must be kinder than everybody thinks. <laughs> you must be a content man indeed, if that's the way you think. to be blown in the wind? There's no one else who could take this job. Please look after Roland for me. See you later. 
Stop right there. Do you really expect your friends to just sit by quietly while you go to meet your own death? Dying for justice and lofty ideals is pointless. There are many who would agree. But there are many who would not. I'm talking about Angram again, eh? About him being special? You're wrong. It's not like that. Lawfer? In this line of work, I know there are times when you have to just grit your teeth and face death. But that doesn't mean you should throw your life away. Hey, let's all go together. There's no reason to go it alone. If we all go, then... No, don't you ever wonder why L Arngrim did what he did? Even though he understood what it would do to Roland? It's not just that. He wouldn't want to... He didn't want to draw his sword against my father. And so he... When I think of how he must have felt... I will not run away! Father... I'm grateful that you chose a name for me that begins with law. Though it may not be exactly the type of law my father had in mind... And now we have Lawfer. I... don't quite get it. I'm not entirely sure what killed him. I mean, uh, my guess is that he released uh, um, Roland, got him out of there, and then, uh, you know, gave himself up to be executed or something like that. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, honestly. Um, let's go to party. Actually, let's go to status. Uh, Lawfer has a hero value of negative uh, 53. Uh, level 1, of course, because everyone starts at level 1 in this, uh, in hard mode. Uh, he's got uh, lightning resistance, birthplace Artolia, Spearman Knight. Uh, Counterattack, Smash Axe, Special Attack, Justice Stream. And he's got basic equipment. No weapon, though. So let's go ahead and no, that's not what I want. Uh, divine item. That's what. I'll I'll figure this all out eventually. Uh, we've got uh, lightning edge now. It absorbs lightning-based magic attacks and transfers DME to its wielder. That sounds pretty good. Not as much damage as the antler sword. Uh, better attack trust and hit trust. Spinning spear does poison damage. Not as much damage as the all pike, though. But... Might be a good idea to get it, anyway. Yeah, much better uh, attack trust and hit trust. That's probably worthwhile. Let's go ahead and... Uh, this is going to be really expensive for it. Oh. These are going to be both really expensive. Well, we'll do it. Uh, we got Elemental Edge. Um, which is uh, Holy Damage plus 50. That's a pretty good one. Holy Prayer. That would be better. That is also very expensive. We 
We've got some new Eastern weapons. Goshorai Blade. Uh, Supreme Crossbow, which does do less damage. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that that would be worthwhile, though. Uh, Silver Salad, uh, Silver Quiris, Heraldic, Heraldic Garb. Probably gonna hold off and buying a lot of the other things. Uh, we've got a Paralyzed Check. Uh, renders user invulnerable to paralyze, and it looks like it uh, also reduces uh, lightning damage. Uh, fire damage might actually be pretty good if we fight some more of the uh, um, uh, the dragon guard guys again. I'm not sure exactly what these do. Probably need to look at them again. Uh, Prime Elixir restores 99% of maximum DME. Prime Banish. Potion which cures stoned and cursed conditions. It only it works only on these conditions and doesn't cure poison, faint, freeze, or paralyze. Uh, combo potion. Uh, Lucid Potion might be new, actually. Uh, let's use it from being targeted by rendering... No, I think we had that. Potion which increases special attack gauge by 5. Effect lasts for 2 turns. Okay, do we have any new skills that we can uh, learn? No. Um, also, I was... Kind of, I was getting annoyed that uh, first aid wasn't triggering for anyone else. It was because I hadn't equipped it on anyone else, so... Yeah, um... Oops. My bad. My mistake. Let's see. You need the spinning spear. Adds additional 20 capacity points when wielder's level increases. Oh, that is really good. I didn't even realize that. With the uh, lightning edge, it is a reduction in attack power, but... And you can have the Antler Sword. Let's go ahead and give that to you. should go up a lot faster. Um, question is about what they will be will be facing, though. It is going to get difficult to keep people up, you know, getting uh, levels, and that's one of the reasons why you got the uh, XP orb thing, so we'll probably end up using that a lot of times for uh, leveling. And I suppose I, what I might actually do is get Llewellyn in as well, get him some more levels rather than Jolanda. Oh, actually, he needs uh, 2,000 to go up. I guess I was looking at his hit points. Uh, in that case... You don't need the Emerald Necklace. I want to put it on Arngrim right now. Okay. Oh, I should also take a look at what his... Uh traits are. So his uh, hero value is uh, minus 53. I think for each one of those, uh, I think for each level you gain, that goes up a bit too. I'm not entirely sure. Um, or maybe it works for some other skills. I don't know. Um, but he is uh, empathetic, uh, rank 1, which is plus 2. Uh, precise, which is plus 2. Moralistic, plus 3. Sacrificing, plus 7. 
Beautiful, plus three. Warrior, uh, minus eight. And Modest, minus one. Uh, but he's got eight ranks, but why would... Mo well, okay, it is, it is the uh, Norse, so I guess that makes sense. All right. So let's see what we have next. And we have another one of the Caves of Oblivion. I think what I might do is actually try to uh, go in there. Um, there is a uh, trick you can do to force um, the caves to always have the items, to have all the items, uh, although there's one type of cave that has no items whatsoever. Um, and I will probably be using that to try to get them to uh, always spawn the items. That's what I did the first time, uh, so that I'd make sure that I'd gotta get all the items. And it just seems like a good idea, <laughs> honestly. It's basically manipulating the uh, RNG. Do you know what a lapis is? Yes, but this isn't a normal one. It's special. Do you think I'm silly? No. Thanks for the encouragement. Fuyuki, if you found the Cerulean Lapis, what would you wish for? I was such a fool. Lapis! Grant my heart's desire! Goodbye, Fuyuki. I'm sorry I lied to you. Highland. So we've got a character to get down there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to get uh, more of these things. Uh, we'll just kind of queue them all up. That way I can go into the... Uh, I might be able to go into the... Go to Highland in the next episode. Salerno Academy. And let's see what else we have. And what will your soul project into this demon cave? My soul? Well, that sounds lovely now, doesn't it? That's also in Highland? Hmm. Not sure how that's going to work. Well. Let's see what else we have. Nethov Swamp. I think that might be it. So I did not see the, uh, the period increase. Yep, that is it. All right, so we've got uh, two people in Highland to go to, and I'm going in the wrong direction. Uh, but we will save them for the next episode, I think. Uh, a little bit shorter, but uh, that's okay. Um, it means that we'll get them in the uh, 
next episode. I'll probably have to go in twice. Um, but if that works out, then you can see that we've got, uh, you know, we'll be at 15 out of 28, then, um, 19, uh, for the two dungeons, not including the, uh, Cave of Oblivion. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, fair, fair amount, uh, left afterwards to do some level grinding. All right. Uh, in the next episode, we will uh, head into Highland and uh, see who we will be getting there. See you next time, everyone.